Happy New Year folks, welcome back. My name's Anthony Valentine, the camera nerd. Today, we'll look at this right on cue. We've got to a bit of rain. Let's see if we can get around this. This is a 1998 Water Sleep Amphist. Very desirable model. It's got this fine front Mark 5 Transit 2.5 turbo diesel at the front. And it's got the famous Water Sleep Monocoque Fiberglass one piece hockey shell at the back. Okay, this is something special folks. It might not be the cheapest around, but it really is. The last owner had eight years. He, the only word I can say is fanatical. He was fanatical about the maintenance, the service in it. Every little thing had to be done. So yes, it's got the side awning. We've got the gas locker, the vents for the fridge, four new tires got an electric step. We're a bit quicker than I normally am, as I say, it's just about to open the heavens. Uh, got the two bike rack, the armor at the back, ladder, large compartment underneath, where you've got the side for the uh, this spare wheel under the side, coming around the driver's side. Back, we've got the compartment for the Fetford cassette toilet. Mains hook up, fresh water, carver to heat the hot water on gas. Inside you've got the element to heat it on mains. Quick sneak peek, it is spotless. There's not a mark on it inside or out. Well, the guy was, had to say, fanatical with his maintenance and servicing. Uh, he had a cam belt replaced a couple of years ago. Uh, I think it was about five years ago he had the Bosch, uh, the new Bosch pump fitted. Um, so that's been done, so that power plant will last you for years. He's had a couple of new batteries fitted a couple of years ago. It's been serviced every year. In fact, you can see that. It's hard to, but the oil is that clean. You can see through the oil. Incredible. 65,000 miles, all the keys, the maintenance pack and the service history is just incredible. But I'll be going through that shortly inside. Okay, yeah, there's nothing negative on the outside. It's all nice underneath. I've looked underneath on the chassis, everything's as it should be. Um, it was just a small slight when I went on top to inspect the roof. Tiny little scratch on that corner. I'm going to fly upstairs now with a drone so you can zoom in. So just on that little corner, it's got a little roofing felt tape about that size. So it's obviously a belt and braces just in case, it's just a tiny little scratch. It's waterproof, bone dry, and I had a habitation service carried out yesterday and it flew through. Okay, Dennis, if you can do us a quick fly over the roof and then I'll take over the camera for the inside. Thanks for that flyover, Dennis. Okay, so stepping inside, this is just wonderful. Let's put some lights on. There we go. So this particular one has the side dinette here with the two forward facing seat belts. We'll just uh, come around to show you that three point seat belts. So this area, uh, these two can slide, the cushions, bottom cushions can slide together. That can make a double bed. 
we can remove this cushion here and that can make a single bed or we can there's a lever there bring that across and that will make well what can only be described as a absolute enormous queen size i think over six foot by six foot above the cab a lot of these are only two berth but this one has actually got the full berth conversion so the last owner there's only two travelers so what they had they had the books up to the side so there's two here i've just taken them off to show you but they just go he had those on either side there so made slight little cupboards on either side i've removed those so all you do is remove that lever there same on that side and this part drops down and then that also will make a large well, I wouldn't say a large, but certainly a, a double bed for children. The only thing that you would need, obviously, if you're bringing that forward down and using it to sleep, you'd need some sort of small, thin memory, memory foam mattress or something. I'll leave that to you. But I did say he was fanatical. Well, yeah, up till COVID, so up till two years ago, for six years on the trout, on the bounce rather, he um, toured Europe. So he just wanted everything checked over before nothing was taken to chance spur, spur fan belt spur wing mirrors clutch cable uh, what else we've got hook up cable ladders awning wheel chocks leveling blocks there it was just that type of guy uh, i think it's even got yeah it's got the it's got the foil covers for the front windscreen we've got a nice little cover there that uh, the mains hookup cable is wound round. This just wants for nothing. It literally is. Wow, look at the rain's come down now. It wants for nothing. It literally is perfect. There's not a mark on it. Just a couple of the buttons at the back were just showing a little bit of wave, so I've replaced them. So they're all in good order, as you can see. Some more lights on, all the reading lights. Well, the leisure guy, the habitation guy from ST Caravan Services said he's, he's not seen one this nice for a long time when you consider the age that's over 20 years old. All important wine cabinet, famous auto sleeper board that just fits. Oh, he's even left you the cutlery. Well, what have we got? Oh, solar panel. Yeah, that's right. He'd. Uh, He's had a, an upgrade, and that's the solar panel. Even that's working. So got the wardrobe. That'll heat the hot water on mains. Or if you're wild camping, you can heat the hot water on the gas. You've got the Carver 3600 gas fire. That's working perfect. Opposite, you've got three-way fridge, so that works on mains. 12 volt when you're driving or gas while camping and that also works on this one you've got access to the uh, gas cupboard so you can get access from inside so you don't have to switch it on and off from the outside wet room again absolutely totally spotless it's very hard to find a fault with this it's it is Pretty damn special. Uh, not a crack or anything on the floor, underneath the carpet, the shower tray. Yeah, this will stand up to a very fussy inspection. Just opening the cooker to show you how clean it is. In fact, it was just that type of guy. He said a couple of years ago, this had a slight mark and a slight rip in there. So we replaced that. Everything just had to be just so. And it clearly shows. So yeah, I'll be happy to uh, deliver this anywhere myself. I'll drive it. You can inspect it, drive it. And if you're happy to buy, I'll just get the train back. If not, the deposit will completely be returned. I'm that confident. Ah, this is the famous wood silk. So it's an auto sleeper. That a lot of auto sleeper owners uh, swear by just spray this polish on the wood and it just gives it a nice finish 
waterproof. It smells nice and a lot of auto sleeper owners swear by that stuff. So that's included. Uh, there's not a lot more to say. I've shown you the electric step. You've got various mains hookups, uh, mains power sockets. The passenger seat swivels. Power steering, electric windows. That's about it. Uh, you've got the five speed manual. Is that a CD player? Yep, CD player. Must be a later one because it's got a, a later uh, digital aerial. But yeah, this is just something special, really, is. Some extra cushions included. All the curtains are like brand new. There's not a mark anywhere. You've got fly nets to all the windscreens, as well as the blackout blinds. All the windows operate as they should do. The only thing I can see that wasn't original, at some stage some owner has uh, done a slight cut out of the carpet and put a mat. Uh, not quite sure what the thinking of that was. Unless, unless there was a mark and the, the a previous owner has decided to put this fitted out proper, professional, no problem whatsoever. Yeah, he had uh, over mats. In fact, he's slightly screwed these in. He just wanted it, everything just to be preserved. Okay, I'll do an extra quick walk around because the rain's just come in. But my name's Anthony Valentine, the camper nerd. 0798. 526-1078 and I'll be happy to deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom and I do mean anywhere. I'm that confident with the servicing and the maintenance and after our inspection I'll include 12 months warranty on the engine and gearbox and a three months total warranty package. No quibble. No problem with putting my name to this model. So it's a 98 Auto Sleeper Amphist. Two point five turbo diesel. She's MOT till October, and it literally wants for nothing. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video, which will be this one, a very nice 1996 Heimer.